So I want to welcome you to this exploration of the power of ancient wisdom. Uh, many of you know me as uh, the founder of uh, the Institute for Generative Leadership. And the concern that has driven me in the work of the Institute and my life career has been about how people create together, but not just results in the world, but the experience of a valuable, satisfying, and meaningful life internally as well. I've had this kind of secret inquiry. Some of you who are more recent students of mine have seen me uh, erupt with a few comments here and there in our conferences about ancient Chinese wisdom. And uh, 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 one of my friends, Pam Fox Rollin, had a conversation with Timothy and learned that he's been all over the Chinese wisdom application in the world of business and leadership. Uh, I'm here because I'm absolutely thrilled to find a community of practice. We have three webinar sessions that are coming. And the, the first one that we're going to do in the next session, and every one of these will have a case study from Timothy's experience, we're going to look at that cycle of forward flow. In just as he was doing by say, using this uh, uh, co you know, Chinese wisdom code word. Oh, they weren't, they weren't uh, fulfilling the metal function. Uh, to understand what that means, how do you produce a, a successful flow at the level of a workday or a team or a company in the marketplace or change? Uh, the session after that is gonna be focused in on the key relationships in making this flow work. And this provides the wisdom for what do executives and decision makers need to pay attention to in order to make this uh, flow of energy into uh, valuable outcomes. The third session uh, we're gonna wind up with is what we're calling the before and after context. And it really goes to that set of arrows that I pointed out at the beginning. How do you include all the complexity surrounding a situation with some clarity and structure of how do you make sure that in, the, in a moment of decision or action, you know what's come before or what needs to come before and, and what you're designing for after. We tend to just be action and, and after, but we need to see that all five of these dimensions are going on all the time. And so that's what we're gonna unpack. Uh, in each case, we'll do a, a description of a case study, give you an exercise so you can see how to apply this in your life and in your, your situation.